the creeks of California have long functioned as the lifeblood of the Golden State. They were the source of great treasure during the gold rush and today serve as the backbone of California's vast agricultural sector. Most Californian creeks boast a year-round flow, a moderate climate and unoffending wildlife. A gladsome ambler is likely to encounter monarch butterflies, dragonflies and perhaps even a crawfish or transient. But there is a much more elusive creature that has long inhabited this ecosystem. Aurea pecus ferrarum, known more casually as the wild golden retriever due to its striking resemblance to the modern family pet, lives clandestinely amongst the thicket and bramble. Due to their uncanny ability to avoid human notice, this mysterious canine species has largely managed to evade scientific study. While reports of wild golden retriever sightings date back over a century, only recently have zoologists begun to lift this veil of secrecy. One notable detail that has come to light is their consistent proximity to taco shops. Scientists have uncovered that Aurea pecus ferrarum sustain themselves on a diet of wild grasses, berries and tacos. Selective pressures have forged a digestive system which thrives on spiced meats, cheese or queso, and local vegetation. Though their origins remain uncertain, Scientists hypothesize these curious canines do share a common ancestor with the domesticated golden retriever. In support of this view, historical records speak of Scottish fortune seekers who traveled to California in the mid-1800s, accompanied by a newly bred variety of retrievers who were notably fond of water. While their masters were preoccupied mining gold, the pups straggled off never to be seen again. A competing hypothesis focusing on the creature's comfort in water posits that the species instead descends from native amphibians. But until scientists either produce a DNA test or a transitional fossil, the origin of Aurea pecus ferrarum remains a mystery. <laughs>